Now you're probably thinking to yourself, not another one of these episodes. But before you go running off, a word from our sponsors. Today's video is sponsored by Pabst Blue Ribbon, the beer of champions. A lot's happened since the last time we saw each other. There was the disaster where basically I made a boat that had way too much rocker and then I kind of stopped making boats and made boats out of paper. Since then, a lot has changed. Over the past week, one of the things that I've done is I've taken the model making to the next level. The first thing I did was accurately cut out all of the parts out of wood. to be extra careful when I'm doing this because I think this is part of where I went really wrong when working on the last boat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these pieces lined up really well and then I'm going to use tape and I'm going to tape them down so that the seams stay lined up the way I put them. Part of what I think happened is, as I was lining up these seams, I didn't line them up carefully enough, and so instead of having a slight curve to the top edge of this piece, I flattened it out. What that did is it made it so that the top edge of this piece was too short. Now that those are done, I'll move them over to the side and do the same thing with the bottom part of the hull. If we were making a real boat, we would use stitches to attach 
these two parts of the hull together. Since we're not, we're going to use tape. We're going to use the tape not only as stitches. I mean, the tape is, is, you know, you're using the tape as stitches. But the stitches are kind of how you hold it in the shape that you want it in. from the tip be about there and the back bulkhead goes five and a half inches from the butt and that would be about there now we're going to start gluing this all together and for our glue we're going to use hot glue so I'm going to put a bead of hot glue here where I put the mark for the rear bulkhead <laughs>
the least part, we can take out the stitches. stitches to stitch the deck together. Looking at the side of the boat, you'll see there's a gap between the top of the rail and the side of the plywood, right? So the top of the rail and the side of the plywood, there's that gap there. Now, I have two choices, kind of, as to where I go with that. I can grind the rail down to match the side of the boat, or I can bring the side up to match the rail, and the way I would do that is by using some sort of filler material. In the case of this boat, I really want the back to be as flat as possible. I'm trying to not make a banana boat like I did the last time. And so in order to do that, I'm going to fill in that gap with some material. Now if you look on the other side, I already did that earlier today. And so I took a piece of cedar and I resawed it down to about a quarter of an inch and then I bowed it in to fill up that gap and then I filled the rest with putty which is what would happen anyway once I put the deck on and then once this cures I can cut this down to match the rail so it's basically the same as if I brought this edge of the boat up to match the top of the rail
designed to allow me to find the center line of the rail from the outside of the boat. So this little edge presses up against the outside of the boat, and this edge notes where the center line of the rail is. I'm going to use this to start marking where I need to drill the holes so that the hoses can come through the back deck. Got my pencil, which I left inside the boat, I'm an idiot. And I'm going to go ahead and press this up against one edge of the tape and put a mark. And then I'm going to press this up against the other side of the tape and make a mark. So these two marks mark the edges of the tape on this side. Now I'll do the same thing on the other side. I'll put it up against one edge of the tape. I'll make a mark, I'll put it up against the other side of the tape, and I'll make a mark. Again, these two marks mark the center of the rail. Now I need to move in, and if I move in the width of the rail, then I will be half the rail width away from the inside edge of the rail. Alright you guys, we're going to end the video there. Thank you so much for watching. If you're still watching the video at this point, why don't you go ahead and click that subscribe button and you can follow along with all of these adventures and I'll keep working hard to bring you great content. Thanks for watching.